the high tech nomad here and today i'm going to show you my top 10 keyboard shortcuts that every chromebook owner should know let's begin number 10 task manager if you need to see what programs are running in the background press and hold the shift key and press the escape key now you can see everything that's running sometimes i feel like my chromebook is running a little slow most times i open this task manager and see things like google music running in the background a simple click and i'm back in the fast lane number nine open the hot dog or hamburger menu that is the little menu that you use a lot in your browser or other program it is easier to show you rather than to describe it press and hold the alt key and press the letter e this saves a lot of time when you are in full screen as you don't have to keep going to the top of the screen to see the menu first before making your selection number eight turning off touchpad or touch screen I have big hands and sometimes when I am typing a lot my hands brushes over the touchpad which can move my place on the screen which is a little frustrating. However I found that you can turn it off. Just press and hold the search key, the shift key and the letter P to toggle the touchpad on or off. To disable the touch screen just press and hold the search key, the shift key and the letter T to toggle the touch screen on or off. If this doesn't work for you, you may need to turn on keyboard debugging, don't let the name frighten you. It takes 30 seconds, I'll leave instructions in the description of this video. Number 7. Caps Lock You may have noticed there is no caps lock key on a Chromebook keyboard, but you can still set it. Simply press and hold the Alt key and the Search key, that is the key that has the magnifying glass on it. Use this combination to toggle caps lock mode. Number 6. Log Out Need to step away from your computer? If you don't want to turn it off or put it in sleep mode you can lock it. Press and hold the search key and press the letter L, the screen will change to the lock screen. To resume, simply enter your password and you're back in business. Number 5. Launch applications from the shelf. Even I didn't know this one. You can start any of the applications on the shelf by pressing and holding the Alt key and pressing any of the numbers from 1 to 9. The number refers to the place on the shelf where the application icon is. Number 4. Keyboard backlighting adjust. If you have a backlit keyboard you may find at times that it is too bright or too dim. You can fix that pressing and holding the Alt key and pressing the bright key to increase the brightness or dim key to decrease the brightness. Number 3 File Manager While you don't have a lot of stuff stored on your Chromebook there will be times that you need to look at what files are on it. Pressing and holding the Alt key, the Shift key and pressing the letter M that will launch the File Manager. From here you can work with all of the files that are on your Chromebook. Number 2 screen capture i don't know what i did before without screen capture about five times a day i capture a screen or part of a screen for later use to capture a full screen press and hold the control key and press the switcher key if you only need to capture part of a screen press and hold the control key the shift key and press the switcher key the screen will turn a little gray using your touchpad or mouse you'll see the cursor has now changed to a crosshair Position it in the upper left hand corner where you want your capture to begin. Click and hold the mouse and drag it to the lower right hand corner of the area you wish to capture. Release the mouse button and that area will be saved. Number 1. Keyboard Overlay How did I get so smart you ask? Well, I cheated. Press and hold the control key, the alt key and pressing the question mark, the screen overlay will appear. The screen overlay shows you everything I just talked about and more take a minute and look through them i'll bet you find one or two keyboard shortcuts that will change your life please tell me your favorites in the comments section below you may have noticed i'm using the voice synthesizer in this episode that is so i can upload this video in multiple languages like japanese german russian and others using the method i showed you in my other video please hit the like button and please click the subscribe button the 3000 subscriber mark is a big milestone for me so please help me get there as soon as possible. Until the next episode this is the High Tech Nomad, well sort of, signing out.